Ever wonder how to keep up with your running fitness while juggling a full-time job? Well, you're not alone. Many professionals face the challenge of maintaining their running fitness amidst their demanding work schedules. The thought of finding time to train while balancing career, family, and social commitments can seem like an uphill task. But here's the good news, it's entirely possible. This video is your step-by-step -step guide to overcoming these challenges. I will delve into practical strategies, effective training plans, and useful tips to help you keep your running fitness on point. I'll also explore the importance of nutrition and recovery, as well as the key role consistency plays in achieving your running goals. So, if you're a professional looking to run that half marathon or perhaps aim for a new personal best in your next 10K, this guide is for you. Stay tuned if you're ready to run your best race, even with a busy schedule. Why should you even bother to maintain running fitness, you might be asking? Well, let's dive right into it. Running isn't just about crossing the finish line in record time or beating your personal best. It's a lifestyle, a commitment to your well-being. The benefits of running extend far beyond the track or the treadmill. It's a powerhouse for your heart, improving cardiovascular health. It's your body's natural stress buster, melting away the tensions of the day. And let's not forget the energy boost. You know that invigorating feeling after a good run. That's your body thanking you. It's preparing you for the daily marathon of life. And yes, for those upcoming races too. Running fitness is about consistency, about setting a pace and keeping it. It's about pushing your limits not just in speed but in endurance, in resilience. So remember, your running fitness is not just about races, it's about living a healthier, more balanced life. A well-structured training plan is your roadmap to running fitness. Let's dive right into the components of a robust training plan. Firstly, we have variety. Variety is the spice of life, and it's the secret sauce of an effective training regimen. By mixing up your running routines, you can challenge different muscle groups and keep your workouts engaging. This might mean alternating between long runs, speed work, hill training, and recovery runs throughout the week. Not only does this keep you from falling into a monotonous routine, but it also helps to improve your overall running technique and endurance. Next up, consistency. Just like any other skill, practice makes perfect. The more consistently you train, the more your body adapts to the demands of running. This doesn't mean you have to run a marathon every day. Even a short brisk jog can do wonders if done regularly. Consistency helps build running into your daily routine, making it less of a task and more of a habit. Now, I come to the often overlooked but crucial component. Rest. Yes, you heard it right. Rest is as essential as the training itself. Your body needs time to recover and adapt to the new levels of fitness you're achieving. Ignoring rest days can lead to burnout and injury, putting a dent in your training plan, so make sure to schedule those rest days and treat them as an important part of your training. Before I continue, don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe to the channel for more running tips. Now, back to our training plan. All these components, variety, consistency and rest, work together to create a balanced training plan. But remember, the best training plan is the one that fits into your lifestyle. It should be flexible and adaptable. If you're a night owl, schedule your runs in the evening. If you're a morning person, hit the road at dawn. The key is finding what works for you and sticking to it. Remember, a good training plan is one that fits your lifestyle and keeps you motivated. It might seem impossible to fit training into your busy schedule, but it's easier than you think. Let's dive into some practical tips to help you manage your time more effectively and keep your running fitness on track. First off, treat your workouts just like any other important appointment. Schedule them into your calendar, set reminders, and make them non-negotiable. This will not only help you stay committed, but also ensure you don't double book yourself. Now you might be thinking, but I'm swamped with work during the day. Well, that's where the power of lunch breaks comes into play. Instead of spending your entire lunch hour at your desk or in the break room, why not lace up your running shoes and head out for a quick jog? It's a great way to break up the day, get some fresh air, and of course, squeeze in some exercise. Another tip is to incorporate running into your commute. If you live within a reasonable distance from your workplace, why not run to work or back home? You'll be killing two birds with one stone. And if you rely on public transportation, consider getting off a stop or two earlier and running the rest of the way. While I'm on the subject of fitting and training, let's take a quick pause. If you're finding this video helpful, do remember to hit the like button and subscribe to the channel. It helps me a lot, and you won't miss out on any of my future tips and advice. Finally remember that every bit counts, 
Even if you can only spare 15 minutes, use that time to do a quick run. It's better to do a shorter workout than to skip it altogether. And don't forget to mix it up. Variety not only keeps things interesting but also challenges different muscle groups and improves your overall fitness. With a bit of creativity and commitment you can find time for running, no matter how busy you are. So let's lace up those running shoes and get moving. Your running fitness goals are waiting for you. Training is only half the battle. Nutrition and recovery play a crucial role in your running fitness. Let's dive into why this is so important and how you can optimize your diet and downtime for the best results. Balancing your nutrition is like fine-tuning a race car. Just as high-performance vehicles need the right fuel, so do runners. A well-balanced diet provides the energy you need to perform and the building blocks to repair and strengthen your body. So, what should you eat? Before a run, focus on carbohydrates. They're your body's preferred energy source. Think whole grains, fruits, and veggies. But remember, timing is key. You don't want to be digesting a meal while you're out on the track. Aim to eat 1-2 to two hours before running. After a run, shift your focus to protein and a bit of carbs. Protein helps repair and build muscle, while the carbs replenish your energy stores. A chicken breast with a side of brown rice for instance can do the trick. But food isn't the only part of nutrition, hydration is just as important. Remember to drink plenty of fluids before, during, and after your run, especially on hot days or long runs. Now let's talk about recovery. It's during rest that your body rebuilds and strengthens itself. Skipping this can lead to fatigue, injuries, and decreased performance. So how can you optimize your recovery? First, get enough sleep. Aim for 7 to 9 hours every night. Sleep is when your body does most of its repair work. Second, listen to your body. If you're feeling sore or fatigued, take it easy. You might need more rest or a lighter workout. Finally, consider active recovery. This could be a gentle walk, a yoga session, or even a relaxing swim. Active recovery can help promote blood flow and speed up the healing process. So there you have it. Fuel your body right and give it the rest it needs and you'll be amazed at your running progress. Consistency is the secret sauce of running fitness. Now you may be wondering what does consistency even mean in the context of running? It's not about speed, nor is it about distance. It's about showing up, day after day, even when the going gets tough. You see the key to maintaining and improving your running fitness isn't just about fitting in those long runs or speed sessions, it's about sticking to your training plan, even when the weather is bad, or when you've had a long day at work or when that cozy couch is calling your name. You might not feel like you're improving on those days, and that's okay. Progress isn't just made on the days when you feel like a superhero, it's also made on the days when you have to dig deep to find the strength to lace up your running shoes and hit the pavement. And how do you stay motivated on those tough days? Here are a few tips. Firstly, remember your why. Why did you start running in the first place? Was it to improve your health? To challenge yourself? To feel the wind on your face and the ground beneath your feet? Whatever your reason, hold on to it. Secondly, celebrate your small victories. Did you run a little farther today than you did yesterday? That's a win. Did you run even though you really didn't feel like it? That's another win. And lastly, don't forget to rest. Consistency doesn't mean running every single day without break. It means sticking to your training plan, which should include rest days to allow your body to recover and grow stronger. Remember, consistency isn't about perfection. It's about effort. And when you bring that effort every single day, that's where transformation happens. That's how change occurs. Stay consistent and you'll not only maintain your running fitness, you'll improve it.